Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. In this video, I am going to talk about differences between abstract class and interface in CSA. So guys, actually I have already created this video, but I am making this video again because of there was an issue of uh, audio quality. So that's why I'm making this video again. So guys, actually this video is very important and every interview you will get this question. So guys, this is the very important question for the interview purpose. You will get this question in every interview. Okay, so make sure you have to practice this question very well. So now let's start it with the point one by one. Okay, so so the first point is we cannot define fields in an interface, but we can define fields in abstract class. Okay, so now let's understand with the help of example. So this is uh, I employee one is my interface, and this I employee two is also my interface. Okay, ABS class is my ABS abstract class, and student one and student two is normal classes okay so this is the interface so like abstract class so we can define fields in that abstract class okay so suppose i want to define the fields inside the interface so we will get an error so like that i have defined the field in interface now we can see the error interfaces cannot contain instance fields so like that we can we cannot uh, create fields inside interface so this is the one big differences okay so the next difference is an interface cannot have access modifiers or it can have only public modifiers so actually public modifier is by default for interface actually abstract class can contain different types of access modifiers like public private protected okay so like uh, this is interface so by default it is public okay so if we can apply public we can apply okay so uh, for the function or method okay so we can apply but by default it is public for an abstract class it can contain different types of uh, access modifiers like public private product even this is the product i can use private as well okay so like this okay so this is the main difference suppose if i will use here private you can see the error here so this is the differences that's why uh, we can say uh, by default interface is public and we cannot have or like we can say interface doesn't have other access modifier except public so the next point is an abstract class does not provide full abstraction okay but an interface provide full abstraction because of that so like this is uh, employee i employee one is our interface okay so and uh, also we are having an interface so like this is the method we are having this is the method we can create multiple method inside in it but uh, none of the method having suppose suppose this is another method i am having so like that we can create a method so these method doesn't have method body but in case of uh, an abstract class abstract class method can have body and also so and they can also contain abstract method in it okay so these method uh, called abstract method okay that method doesn't contain method body is called abstract method so in abstract class we can have abstract method but in this abstract class we can also have a non abstract method like this okay so we can write our code here so we can define the body of that method okay so like that so that's why we can say abstract class does not provide full abstraction whereas interface provide full abstraction okay so the next point is using abstract class we cannot achieve multiple inheritance but using interface we can achieve multiple inheritance so let's see with the help of example suppose we are having an interface class so like uh, guys uh, this is the i employee one and i employee two we are having two methods okay so uh, we can uh, have so the responsibility of this class that is inheriting this method uh, this uh, interface have to provide the implementation for that method so i employee contain a full like uh, this is a having a, a display method so i have to implement the display method in this class as well okay so like suppose now you can see the error will be gone here okay so i have to make this method 
public otherwise we will get an error so that method must be public okay okay so now we can see we can have multiple inher inheritance here in the same case if i want to use uh, multiple classes here suppose i am having uh, abs class abs class i am having another class uh, suppose student one okay student one so now we can see the you can see what is the error we are getting test and the class test class cannot have multiple base class okay so this test class cannot have multiple base class abs class and student one okay so like that uh, abstract class doesn't provide full uh, like uh, multiple inheritance but by using interface we can achieve multiple inheritance concept okay so the next point is that is the fifth one interface doesn't contain constructor whereas an abstract class contain a constructor so this is suppose my uh, abstract class this is the abstract class now i want to create a constructor of this class so like uh, suppose i'm having a public class name okay and we have to apply the run back we have to implement this constructor here okay so this is called the constructor here so this is i have created one uh, constructor so like uh, we are having a constructor in extra class where if i want to uh, create a constructor of interface suppose like uh, public employee one we can see so it will not allow so interface cannot contain instance constructor okay so that that is the differences so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you understand this video all the five points are very important so you have to prepare very well these questions okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you in the next video guys if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel please subscribe my youtube channel for more videos you can follow me on my social media facebook linkedin and blog sports all the links are available in the video description thank you guys